Uh, hi, in this video, we are going to see how to import a Git repo into an Azure repo. So if you go into the marketing project and to the repository, so you have an option here to an import an external repo into your Azure repo. So I'm clicking on the uh, import repository. So here I need to provide the clone URL. So here in my Git repo, I have a simple web app, so which have a readme.mt file, and in the source folder, I have an index.html file. So I'm going to import uh, this uh, code into my Azure repo. So I'm going to click on the code and getting, and getting the clone URL. Just copy this clone URL and come to the Azure DevOps and paste the clone URL. So let's name this repository as web app. And though it is a private repo, if you see this repository is a private repo, I need to authenticate to this Git repository. So I'm just going to select the required authentication. So in the required authentication, I need to provide the username and a password or a PAT token. So I'm going to enter my username and I'm going to authenticate to this Git repo using a PAT token. So now let's go into the Git repository and we will generate a PAT token. To generate a PAT token, you need to select your profile and go to the settings. And in the settings, you have the option called developer settings. And go to the developer settings and you can see an option called personal access token. So in the personal access token, I'm going to select the fine grain token and I'm going to click generate new token. So I'm going to name this token as Azure repo and this token I don't want for 30 days. I'm just going to take uh, the expiry date for seven days and coming to the repository access. So there are three options, public, all repository or the selected repository. So I want to go for the selected repository. I want to very specific to this web app repository and coming to the permission. So the one permission which you need to grant it to get this repository into the Azure repo. I'm going to provide the content read only access to import the repository into the Azure repo. So let's go and generate the token. Okay, all right. So we copy this token and come to the Azure DevOps and enter the PAT token on here and then click on import. So it's take a while to import the repository based upon your content size. All right, so if you see the import has been successful and if I go to the web app repo file, I can see the readme file and the source file and the index.html file. So I'm going to delete this repo. Uh, for deleting the repo, click on the project settings and come to the uh, repositories and click on the three dots and I'm going to delete this web app repo. So that's all about this video. Uh, thanks for watching.